Okay, hello. Uh, we are going to take a look at how you might want to replace uh, view X with Overmind. And we're going to refactor a very simple example here just to get the point through of how it would actually work. So this is the counter uh, application where we can add and subtract and also run some async code. And we have our main application file, which imports view X. It creates a store and exposes that store to all the components. Uh, so let's have a look at this store and what we can see here it exposes some state and it has some mutations that changes that state and then it has actions because it wants to do something asynchronous. So uh, let's also have a quick look into we don't care about the app component because it just it's just styling and stuff but let's look into the counter. And what it does is point to account that comes from a computed, that comes from a store. And then uh, it points to some methods uh, that is defined on the component for adding and subtracting and running this add3 async uh, dispatch. Okay, so let's get started with the refactor. What we're going to do is create a new folder here. And that folder is called overmind. And then we add an index.js file. And let's just import overmind from overmind and create a new instance of it. And also overmind has a state property in its configuration where we put the count. And then it has actions, only actions. So what we can do here is just copy over uh, this stuff. And we don't receive uh, multiple arguments here we only receive one argument which is the configuration so what we do is we destructure it instead and it's not called payload it's called value uh, but we can rename it to to payload if we want to do that uh, and then we have state and let's just rename here as well okay uh, and then we need our add3 async here and we add that as an action as well um, and the way we want to approach changing this value, uh, we can do multiple things. Like we can just change the state, which we are going to do here because it's overcomplicated to call another action. Um, or we could even go uh, functional here if we want to do that and compose things more together. Uh, but let's uh, just use the state here and let's uh, point to the count and add three here. That's the most straightforward way of thinking about this. Okay, so now we have our overmind instance. So let's create a plugin to expose it to the components. And we export the overmind plugin by saying create plugin and just give it the instance of overmind. Uh, now, this is a very basic, straightforward configuration. Of course, you are able to create more complex configurations, namespacing and dividing up into different files and stuff, but that's not the scope for this tutorial. We just want to see uh, like the core ideas, so uh, you can decide if you want to move this way or not. Okay, uh, let's look into main, and we don't need view X. We rather want to import over my plugin from overmind and let's attach that over my plugin and we don't need the store anymore so let's remove that as well okay and uh, now we can see we broke our app completely and uh, so let's go and fix that so by default the overmind plugin exposes uh, the state and the actions uh, to all components as state and actions now, you can change this and you can read more about that in the documentation, but by default, all components have state and actions. So let's change our count here to state and let's just keep these methods for now. Uh, but we don't need our computed anymore. And here we are rather going to say this actions add payload and this actions subtract payload and then this actions add three async. Okay, so our application is up and running again. And as you can see, we can still add, we can subtract, and we can add after one second. So let's have a quick look into the developer tools of Overmind. 
And what we can see here is that our current count is two. That's the state. And then we have the actions where we can see all the changes we did. So we ran add and set the count to one. Then we set it to two. And then we set it to uh, four. And we subtracted a little bit. And then we did an async change. And we can see that the only component that was affected by this was the counter component. Okay, but we can actually, now that we have a different API here, we can make this a little bit more inline. So we can say, uh, sorry, actions add here instead. Oops, actions add, actions subtract, and actions subtract, and actions add three async. And then we can also move all of these. So let's uh, refresh here. And as you can see, we have the same functionality, but we have cleaned up our code uh, a lot. And Overmind works the same way as view components themselves. Like it's able to, to identify what state you are accessing in components. And it will only re-render when you actually change some state that the component is looking at. That is really important. But this was the, basically the refactor. Personally, I think it becomes a lot cleaner and it's more in tune with the view API itself. Um, but yeah, you have to make up your own opinion. Uh, but I hope you, you like the presentation. Okay, thanks.